In 2012 Manhattan, Rory was transported back in time to 1938 by the Weeping Angels whilst carrying coffee back to Amy and the doctor in Central Park. While the doctor read to her from the pulp paperback he had discovered in his coat pocket, Melody Malone, private detective in old New York town, they realized that it was about River and Rory on the night of the 3rd of April 1938 and the narrator was in fact River. New York of that era was saturated with time energy, inhibiting the doctor's ability to pilot the TARDIS without a form of landing lights. Amy read in the novel that River and Rory were taken to the home of Julius Grail, a mobster and collector of early Qin dynasty artifacts. Accordingly, she and the doctor flew to China in 221 BC, the first year of the dynasty, where they commissioned a vase to read Yaoza in clerical script, to signal River to activate her vortex manipulator as landing lights, to guide the TARDIS. They and River followed Rory to Winter Key where he had been sent by baby weeping angels. They found him in a room where an old Rory died in a bed before their eyes. The doctor realized that the angels took over Manhattan and transported people into the past, trapping them in the key to feed off of their time energy. Amy and Rory jumped off the roof of Winter Key in order to create a paradox causing Rory to have never been taken by the angels. The paradox worked, and the angels were destroyed. The Doctor, Rory, Amy, River and the TARDIS appeared in the graveyard in New York in 2012 again with all of them alive. Relieved, they decided to go on a family outing, but before they entered the TARDIS, Rory found his own grave and was immediately sent back in time by a surviving angel. Amy, devastated, decided to risk her life again in the hope of being reunited with Rory, exiled in the past. The Doctor pleaded with her not to go through with such a dangerous plan. River, however, believed, or already knew, that the plan would work and encouraged Amy. She kept her eyes on the angel as she bid farewell to the doctor and River. Reaching backwards, she took her daughter's hand and addressed her by the name she had given her at birth, telling Melody to take care of the doctor. She turned her back to the angel and said goodbye as the angel sent her away.